Hi folks, today we share some info about Canon because there were a long time rumors saying that the Canon R1 and other future R models could have global shutter like the A9 III from Sony and it looks like those rumors were really not true because uh, the latest info is that the Canon R1 will have a very fast reliable rolling shutter but definitely no global shutter. What I found interesting is the fact that it is indeed uh, so that Sony usually historically tends to be the first to introduce new technology like for example stack sensor or uh, other technologies we saw before and um, Canon and others will follow usually within two three years so I think this will be the same for the global shutter it will take a couple of um, yeah at least 24 months I think or close to 24 months before Canon and others will use um, a global shutter on their own sensors and uh, I told you also in my previous video that it's likely that the next video oriented camera from Sony will have global shutter and I'm also wondering trying to figure out if the E7S III successor will have global shutter or not and um, what is probably more likely to be true is uh, the other rumor that we heard from Canon Rumors and the Camera Insider that we are getting five new Canon lenses. Those will be the 40mm 1.4, the 24mm 1.4, the 28mm 1.4, the 35mm 1.4 and the 400mm 4.0. Now just share my two cents about uh, those lenses. I think Canon is doing a very great job. Sometimes I have the feeling they beat Sony when it comes to the choice of what lens to make. Like for example the 300mm 2.8 from Sony is certainly excellent but Canon is offering the option of having a 100 to 300mm 2.8 lens which probably is more usable and practical for sports photographer even if the 300mm is much lighter so you can also in theory handheld it but I don't know if sports photographers really need it so much. Uh, I see them often like on soccer and football games and all the games having a tripod so um, I wonder if they would prefer to have a 100-300mm Sony 2.8 lens that would be uh, that would fit on the A93. Other lenses that I like from the Canon lineup are the 85 1.2, their 2.0 zooms. There I see a small advantage for the Canon R system. To wrap it up, the Canon global shutter is not coming anytime soon, while Sony is certainly going to implement it on a video-oriented camera that is coming probably around January. Maybe on the A7S IV that could be announced the first half of 2024, while on the lens front Canon is really pushing um, hard and Sony has now to catch up with some of the focal lengths and that are available in the Canon lineup and not available in the Sony lineup. So I'm crossing my finger that Sony will indeed make a 85 1.2 GM for example. Uh, but uh, let's see, hopefully trusted sources can tell me what the plans from Sony are in 2024. Then I will update you with a new video. So please again like this video to help me in the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming rumors. See you soon.